Whether in the dusty recesses of the dark web or on a bright and blue and white Facebook post, the internet contains millions of untold personal stories. While most of these are centered around people's daily routines, some take on a much darker tone. These stories explore firsthand the most frightening moments in people's lives. Here are the 10 most chilling true stories from the internet. Number 10 is Old Friend. In one story online, a poster talked about visiting his grandmother's home, which was surrounded on both sides by an old graveyard. One day, a friend had come to visit and was talking about a spiritual awakening that they had recently experienced. Just as the two friends were discussing this at the grandmother's home, the family cat rushed off towards the cemetery. The friends followed, and there they found the black cat sitting on top of a gravestone. Whenever they tried to move the cat, it hissed and scratched at them. As it turns out, the gravestone was connected to the house, and it was the final resting place of one of the previous owners. Perhaps the memory of the person lingered on in that place, or were the friends led to the grave for another unknown, darker reason? Number 9 is Close Call. People vanish with frightening regularity. There are many theories as to what happens to such people. Some undoubtedly are runaways, but others disappear in a more sinister fashion. One true story told by a Redditor suggests a terrifying solution to some of these disappearances. When he was a teenager, the Redditor was riding on his bicycle and happened to cut across a car. The driver honked the horn, but the teenager laughed and flashed an obscenity to the driver. Then the car screeched to a halt. The driver jumped out of the car and walked around to the trunk. A woman leaped out of the passenger seat crying and begged the man not to open the trunk. The couple then drove away and the teenager always wondered about what was in that trunk. A weapon perhaps? Or was that where the driver was intending to put him? Number 8 is On Thin Ice. In one true story, a poster described an ice fishing trip when he was younger with his dad. It had snowed the night before and so the ice was covered in a thick white blanket as far as the eye could see. While walking towards a small hut of ice where they could keep warm and store their gear, something went terribly wrong. The sun suddenly stood on a piece of ice and was gone. He plunged deep into the icy water beneath, his entire body shutting down under the shock. As the currents tried to pull him under the ice sheet into the blackness. With one last effort, he reached up out of the water and his father grabbed him, pulling him to safety. It turns out that someone had fished there the night before and hadn't covered up their hole with ice. Which begs the question, how many people have not lived to tell such a tale? Number seven is Good Girl. <laughs> It said animals can sense things people cannot, whether that be an intruder in the night or something more unearthly. In one story, it's difficult to know just what a family dog saw. The poster of the story was a teenager at the time and was looking after his little brother while his parents were out for the night. While the little brother played in his own room, the older brother sat in another room watching television. As he was watching TV, the older brother heard the dog making a lot of noise, howling and scratching. When the older brother went to see what was wrong, he was frozen to the spot at the doorway. Just around the corner, he heard an unknown male voice speak to the dog and say, ah, that's a good girl. When the older brother turned the corner, there was no one there, only the dog staring intently at an empty space at the end of the hallway. Number six is unwelcome. In one of the most chilling true stories found on the internet, a woman shared her terrifying childhood encounter. After her parents had separated, her mother got a place of her own, a ground floor apartment. When staying with her mother, the child would often leave her own room and go and sleep in the same bed with her. One night when she was about four or five years old, the child woke up and saw that the family cat was acting strangely at the door to the room. Suddenly, the figure of a man emerged from the child's room and stood at the door. Luckily, 
the mother had woken by this time and reacted quickly. She grabbed her daughter and escaped through her bedroom window. Police had investigated and were unable to find any evidence of forced entry, but they did find a notepad with names scrawled in it and a pair of rubber gloves. Number five is the grin. At the end of a night shift, a Redditor was spooked by the sound of someone throwing a rock through one of the windows at the front of the building. After alerting security, the Redditor drove home to the house they shared with their mother. They then decided to meet a friend who was at a bar, so they hopped onto a bicycle and cycled down a lonely road towards them. As they were cycling, a man on another bike appeared from the rear. He overtook and then turned and grinned at the Redditor with a strange, frightening smile. That was when the Redditor realized the bike looked looked very familiar. The Redditor cycled home as quickly as possible and uncovered the truth. The grinning man had hidden in the back seat of the car as the Redditor drove home from work. He then stole a bike from the garage and gave chase down that lonely dark road. Number four are voices. In one chilling post, a person outlined their own uncanny experience. When they were a child, they discovered that their family home had an old antenna on the roof. The wire from it passed their bedroom window. Radio signals were patchy at best where they lived. So in order to listen to more stations, the poster attached an old radio to the antenna wire with an alligator clip. One night at around 2 AM, they were playing with the radio, sweeping through frequencies to get a better sound. That was when the signal came. The radio picked picked up loud rhythmic snapping noises like someone cracking their knuckles. This continued for a time until a faint voice said, it doesn't work, we're already dead, we're already dead. The signal then ceased. The voices were never heard again. Three is from the ocean. In one true story posted online, a group of scuba divers had a horrifying encounter. It was a night dive and the water around them was as dark as the sky above. Only their lights could penetrate the darkness below and the sea seemed to go on for miles beneath them. There were eight people in the group and they were being instructed by a dive master. As the dive was coming to its end and the group needed to surface and return their boat, the dive master saw something moving in the dark waters around them. Turning his light to the moving shadow, the group of divers recoiled in horror at what they saw, a huge great white shark. It was circling them, waiting to attack. The master diver managed to keep everyone calm, and they slowly ascended towards the surface. The shark followed them all the way, and the divers only just made it out of the depths alive. Number two is don't stop. <laughs> We are often encouraged to stop and help those in need. In some cases, it's better to assess the situation first. This was the case for a user on FARC.com when one night while driving along a quiet country road, a horrible scene came into view. There had been a car crash of some sort. Two cars lay on either side of the road and two people, a man and a woman, were clearly lying injured and motionless between both cars. The poster of the encounter was an ex-marine and something about the situation didn't feel right. After driving past them on the road, they both stood up and stared at the driver as he moved away. Then 20 or so other people emerged from the surrounding woods. The driver sped away, forever being haunted by that night, asking themselves what would have happened had they stopped. And number one is no pets allowed. A physician had been practicing medicine for 30 years, seeing tens of thousands of patients. One day, he was to evaluate a new patient. The patient was a woman who had been admitted with a serious lung condition. When the physician entered her room, he immediately experienced an allergic reaction. He began to cough, his eyes began to weep, and he had to get out of the room just so he could breathe. The physician remarked to the medical staff who had been attending to the woman during that night that this normally only happened when he encountered cats. One of the 
the nurses was shocked because the woman had been screaming all night about cats crawling all over her body and trying to claw her eyes out. The nurses assumed that this was a hallucination and medicated her. There were no cats in that room except for those in the patient's mind. But as always, thank you for watching and for subscribing to my channel. And a very special thank you to my channel members, especially the names that you see on screen right now. All of you help keep my channel going. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.